the young Marine come into the Marine Corps for one reason, because they want to deploy. They want to be part of something better than, bigger than themselves, and do do what they need to for uh, you know addressing the the crisis that are that affect the United States of America. Electricity well, Force Twenty One is our is going to be our core's concept for the future, uh, and it's a capstone concept which uh, basically builds upon our previous uh, concepts that we've had out there from ship to objective maneuver, operational maneuver from the sea, sea basing, and it's actually going to you know, be the capstone for that to pull them all together. It's going to refocus our Marines back you know, from the time that we've spent uh, in Iraq and Afghanistan and get them refocused on expeditionary operations, you know, particularly from, from the sea all to be able to provide that combatant commander with the right force at the right place at the right time. We're going to put a renewed focus on the Marine Extra Brigade, you know, so that that brigade can uh, be more of a middleweight force. So that means it can, it can box down or it can box up, so that it, it's going to be more focused across the, com the complete range of military operations from humanitarian assistance, disaster relief, low intensity conflict operations, um, all the way to being a premier warfighter for forcible entry operations. So it'll be focusing on uh, the capabilities that the MEB can bring by combining the forces that are already forward. I think that what they're going to see is that they're going to be, um, you know, positioned forward a lot more than they had in the past. You know, we're going to be looking for ways to get them more on uh, amphibious ships. They're going to be uh, disaggregated around the theater, you know, so there'll be a lot more responsibility that will be put on these Marines. They're going to get better training within the schoolhouses and uh, get better preparation and so that they, they can be that force of uh, readiness that our nation's demands. For the Marines that we're going to have that are forward stationed, forward deployed, they're going to be the ones that are going to be closest to the scene to begin to set up command and control, to begin to go ahead and integrate all the, inter all the agencies that are coming in to assist with it and also help organize the other countries that are coming in to uh, make sure that they're, whatever forces they're bringing in, whatever uh, supplies, activities that they bring that they can be coordinated into the bigger picture. Once again, it's returning back to our expedition routes, you know, of getting lighter, faster, more, more mobile, you know, to make sure that we've got the, you know, the, uh, the strategic agility that we need, the operational reach and the tactical flexibility to operate across the full range of uh, military operations. The key on, on uh, addressing humanitarian assistance and uh, disaster relief operation is, is just being ready because you never know when it's going to happen. It's just something that, that you aren't looking to have happen, but when it does happen, you need to be prepared to you know, be that, you know, the force of choice that's going to get out there to go ahead and make something happen. And it's getting there as quickly as you can that's going to make a difference. Um, it's all about when you have today's crisis, you're going to address it with today's force and you're going to do it today.